When a child is in the mother's womb, it has a type of relationship without having a conscious mind, without having any tangible external desire. It appears like that. But even then, even though the child doesn't have consciousness, say the mother has the acute relationship with the child because the child has been created from the fetus and from the egg by a desire to have a union with her husband. Based on this desire, the egg has been formed and from there the child started forming. So, it is based on her desire, based on her instinct, the child has come out of the egg and it is in that mother's stomach and so the relationship has started from that very moment and thereby the mother has an interest to take care of the child because you see the child is a cool. the intensity to take care of the child the interest to take care of the child has developed from the time of the starting of the relationship. So, when we come to the next stage, this is the type of relationship which is called the relationship. A relationship is a transaction between two entities or one or more entities or more entities to one or more entities to more or many entities to many. This is a relationship or this is a transaction. This can be a physical, tangible, includes person, includes money, includes things, includes all the elements in this world. Then the second thing is mental or intellectual or intangible Whenever and wherever there is any kind of physical or mental intellectual transaction, there is bound to be a temporary or non-permanent relationship. In this world, all the relationships Accepting one is all temporary and non permanent. Where there is no transaction at all, then the question of relationship doesn't come. That is non dual, that is Advaita, is, is a state where there is no relationship. As long as there is duality, as long as there is between an individual to individual or between one individual to many individuals or between one entity to another entity or many entities, there is bound to be In this world, it's a dualistic world, it is a twice world, it is a plurality world, so there is going to be a relationship that is going to the mom. But we will see how this relationship can be understood properly with proper awareness. How is the relationship form? Before that, before this question, let us try to analyze whether there is relationship at all in absolute sense. 
When it is yes, we will try to analyze. When it is no, in which, in which context it is. The relationship is in the past, in the present, and in the future. So, in the past, when we were a child, we had the relationship with the mother's soul. When we come out of the mother's stomach, we have a relationship with the whole world, with its mind, special element, and with all the people around, and with the things which you are lying down on the bed, or on the pillow, whatever it is, we develop a relationship. We go further deep into this relationship later. later. Is relationship really constant of seeing close one's life? If we say yes, let us analyze the reason. There is no relationship as we have seen in this world which is constant of seeing close one's life. It is impossible. It is not practical. Or it is not real. Because the relationship changes from situation to situation, from, from time to time, from environment to environment, from the surrounding to surrounding, from the people to people, from the transaction to transaction. Does the relationship change from time to time, from place to place, from environment to environment? from person to person, from individual to individual, from atom to atom, element to element, molecule to molecule, the answer is yes. The relationship to change. The relationship does change because it is the nature of the world. Why relationship changes from time to time between individuals? Let us analyze. Because in every individual's life, the relationship is made with an interest. It is associated with an interest. Once the interest is achieved, then one loses the degree of intensity, the enthusiasm, gets gradually. So, intensity of relationship reduces. This is applicable only to physical, biological, tangible things are in it. It is the law of indifference of saturation. As is also mentioned very clearly in economic theory, Malthusian theory of economic, or law of substitution, or marginal utility, whatever you want to say, then law of substitution, marginal utility. Because if, if you go on taking a particular thing, then you lose the taste and the interest will get saturated in one particular space and then gradually increases and finally it may even end up the, the relationship of it. So it's the law of nature. So what we have to understand is it but for sure the relationship definitely will never be constant. It may start, it may increase, it may saturate, and then finally it may decrease, and finally it may also end up without any tangible or physical relationship. So, what's the solution for this? How to be aware of this 
nature of the relationship. Why at all we should be aware full of this relationship? Because as we said in the first sloka of the Jogavinda, the moment you start attacking yourself, the moment you, you start too much attack and you get involved in the relationship, then that is the one of the problem. Yet in another sloka, Lord Krishna says, because of moha, the intensity of the relationship, attachment, then comes raga. Because of that, there is a later on it becomes vesha, that is enmity, and then finally you get anger, and then finally you will try to end up with disassociation of the relationship totally. Because, because of the attachment, attachment of the desire, of the interest, of the expectation is the main soul, root cause of the problem. So, we should try to understand what is the relationship, what is the nature of the relationship, what, why is relationship mean? When is relationship mean? How the relationship is mean? And we should know whether this relationship is going to be permanent, uh, eternal, or ephemeral, or temporal. So be aware of that relationship, the degree of intensity of relationship see this human be very, very consciously aware of that and then the problem will be left in the mind. Agitation will be left in the mind. Stress of the mind. So with this awareness, your wise person or a jnani or a sadguru or an intelligent person or an individual will start accepting the relationship as they are. From time to time, he knows that the relationship is going to change, the relationship is not constant, the relationship will not be permanent, the relationship is temporal, so the moment no he is aware of this, aspect of relationship, the character of relationship, the process of relationship, or the properties of relationship, whatever you want to say, then there will be better awareness and then the mind will not get deluded, the mind will not get unstable, the mind will not get upset because of the change in the intensity of the relationship. Then there will not be a problem because it is the law of nature. We cannot go against the law of nature. It is the law of nature that the relationship changes the intensity of the relationship changes. In the laws of nature, Relationship intensity changes. We, we have already repeatedly said this and never it is from The very world, the very universe, the very prapancham, the very jagat, the definition of that very jagat is the one which is continuously changing, dynamic, and it is never. So once the world itself is changing, the jagat is changing, how can the entities in the world, how can the living human beings or animals or tangible or intangible things in this world, 
world, how can it be without any meaning? The moment there is a thing, then naturally the relationship also changes. Dynamically and continuously it will be seen. That's the law of motion. 